Most of you know me as a bike painter, but that's not the complete story. Today I like to give you insights in my private rooms and also into another side of my life, an artistic side. I was into art since I was a kid and I visited an art school since fifth grade. I studied also design and photography at a German university. And today I like to give you an insight, a private insight into my private art. I got my first airbrush at the age of 15 in 1997 and in 97 the internet was a new thing and I think we got the first internet in 98 or 99, I'm not really sure. So in this time I bought a lot of art magazines and I found these airbrush artworks very realistic and I was absolutely fascinated so I wanted to try it myself. I bought an airbrush and I was also fascinated by painting people, in most of the cases faces. and. These are some of the early artworks I did and I painted them between 97 and 2003 before I started to study design and photography. And what you can see here is Floor Jensen. That's the lead singer of a metal band called Nightwish. Here we have Chiara and that's a picture I did as a promotion picture for my first website, Maya Art. It's no longer online, but that's such a typical promotion picture I did in these years. That's a picture I did for a competition and the goal of the competition was to show the future of technology. And as I was born in 1982, there were no computers. I grew up with no computer. And the first computer I can remember, my father bought in 94 or 95, I'm not really sure. So as a kid, I started painting by hand and the airbrush artworks are typical hand painted pictures, but very realistic. And that was the thing which fascinated me. So I tried to paint also by hand. But I like to show the future of technology, so I combined this toddler with the floating screen, the headphones and the mouse and I won this competition, so I'm very proud of the picture and the deeper meaning. But let's check some more of my pictures in my crib. That is a picture with the deepest meanings I ever painted. In the 80s there was a medicine called Contagan and Contagan was given to pregnant women and the result was they gave birth to disabled children. These children had no underarms and it was a huge scandal in Germany, also in Europe. And I grew up in the 80s with a Contagan child with no underarms living in my house. We played together, we were happy and I never asked why. And that's what this picture shows, a happy face, a happy child. It seems disabled but with a happy face. And yeah, that's the message of the picture and the message of the picture works. The picture was in an exhibition and a pregnant woman came to the exhibition and she was so afraid and so annoyed about the picture, she tried to remove it and the exhibition crew had to remove it from the exhibition because she was so afraid. Maybe she got not the complete message of the picture or she was afraid about her own child. I don't know, but yeah, that proves that this picture can transport emotions and feelings to other people. It transports also emotions to me. It's part of my history and part of the Contagan scandal and that's what's shown in the picture. The jealous old man. In Germany we have an adage which says you turn green when you are jealous. Du wirst grün vor night. And that's what's shown in the picture. An old man sitting in front of his house turning green because he's jealous, green like an apple. And that's the simple message of the picture. That is a picture I painted also for a contest and the contest was about what's behind the hedge. And some people buy themselves aggressive dogs if they want to save their private properties. So the aggressive dogs wait behind the hedge. And that's what I made out of it. I painted two Dobermans, but not aggressive. I gave them baby's clothes, a baby's head, pom-poms on the tail, also on the feet and some hearts on the pinch colors and that's my private sense of humor. And yeah, it was also a winner in the contest. That is also a picture with a deep meaning. I had an original photography of an old man driving around in a bus on Cuba and the man was blind. He had these white eyes. He had black sunglasses in his jacket, but he's not wearing the black sunglasses so it looked very strange with the white eyes. And I put him in front of an old wall with the lettering Buena Vista Social Club, named after the famous music album, the Cuban music album Buena Vista Social Club. And in my picture, he has these magic dice floating around. And on every side of the dice, there's shown the number six. And that means it's a wise old man. He's listening to his soul and his heart. And 
when you're listening to your soul and your heart you will win every time doesn't matter how the dice roll so they show every time the number six and on one side there's the flaming star and the flaming star is the symbol for the flaming heart so if you listen to your heart you will win every time doesn't matter how the dice roll the girl in the wood panel it's a simple nature study how to paint wood and how to paint the face there's nothing special behind the picture uh, there's a little flower in your hair to make it pretty yeah and i painted it to study how to paint surfaces and how to paint faces as well and that's all i like to show you my very first airbrush artwork and the art i did during my younger years as a kid and when i was a teenager as well and my very first airbrush artwork was this i have to mask some areas because i'm not really sure if i can show all and that was around 97 as i had my first girlfriend and maybe you can imagine that i was interested in human beings and of course in a woman and yeah that's what i painted at this time an angel i painted also a devil which matches the angel i have to mask some areas as well and yeah it's kind of fantasy art with the background but i was not really interested in fantasy more in people and much more in women and that's also one of my first airbrush artworks i'm not really sure it's yeah 97 98 something around this and if i see it now it's not 100 percent perfect but if you are a 15 year old boy that's really cool and i was so proud that i can paint pay, or that i could paint something like this that's also a pencil drawing medusa i painted this with pencils yeah and <laughs> it's also a kind of nature study if you want to have it like this and later on i'm not really sure 99 or 2000 I painted pictures like these. I tried to imitate these computer graphics, these computer artworks you can do with graphic software. And I included also the women. I was interested in women as well. And yeah, that's, that was the stuff I painted in my younger years. And I painted also people. And that was a good friend of mine. She gave me the photo and I did the drawing of her. And what do you think? Is it a good drawing? Does it match the photo? And I painted my very first girlfriend as well. She gave me also a photo of her and that's the picture I made. And as mentioned before, I was so interested in painting realistic. If I see it now, it's not 100% realistic, but as a 15 year old kid, I was so proud that I was able to paint something like this. And I painted also other people to make some pocket money. And yeah, if you are able to paint something like that, it's a good opportunity to make some money. I painted also animals, not only women. And yeah, I painted some horses, but I was not into horses like girls were into horses at these ages. But that was a good opportunity to study nature, to study animals, to find out how to place light and shadow and how to do the composition. So I painted a lot of stuff and also these horses. And that's another horse picture. Yeah, I'm not so much into horses, but yeah, I did this to study, to study the background, to study composition and things like this. And that's another picture, the girl with the roses, and I made it around 2000, 2001. You can see some progress, lights and shadows are better. And I'm no longer interested only in the boobs, I'm also interested in the faces. Yeah, and that's what I did. Some of my friends gave me pictures and photo photos, and I made some of these artworks from the photos. I did also landscape painting, matte painting inspired by Star Wars and something like that. And that helped me to find out how to arrange things. That's a pencil drawing, not so much airbrush. And yeah, studying nature, painting nature helps a lot to improve your artwork and uh, the possibilities to paint. And I did several pictures 
also some space theme pictures and that's also matte painting space theme nothing special and yeah i painted also a lot of anim lot of animals and my goal was to paint realistic to find out how to paint realistic and so i painted a lot of things animals and it's how to find out how to work with color how to arrange color how to do something in a realistic way yeah and that's why i paint these pictures another matte painting painted with pencils like old school art like how can i say the old masters of art and these are typical pictures i did to study art and i did them around 97 and 2000 before i uh, studied art and these are pictures i did at art school not for the art school itself only for me to find out how to paint because i was impressed by people who could paint such landscapes and i wanted to try it myself and that's one of these pictures Yeah, and I painted also spaceships and landscapes. And what I also did, I painted cars. And in my younger years, I painted these cars to sell them to friends and other people, to car addicted people. Yeah, I did a few of these pictures and I sold them to make some pocket money. <laughs> and that's a guy he was very funny and these pictures are from an exhibition i had in 2004 and he looked so funny with the glasses and his eye so i tried to paint him and yeah these are also pictures from the exhibition and i did them to study people i was into faces and i'm still into faces and faces attract me a lot and yeah it's very interesting for me to paint faces and to find out how to paint faces and that's the self-portrait, me in chains. And that was one of the first year at university. And I was a bit desperate. And so I painted myself in chains with an airbrush in front of a blank paper because I don't know, I didn't know what to do at university. I had no clue uh, about my future and things like that. And that's what I felt about the first year at university. That's also a good friend of mine, a cool graffiti artist. His name is Tasso, Czech Tasso. And he sent me a photo of him with a gun. It's only a play gun in Germany. We are not allowed to have guns. But yeah, as a graffiti artist, it looks a bit gangster. So I made this picture of Tasso. And yeah, it's also a study of faces. And that's what I'm every time attracted. And also Tasso again with his girlfriend. He's older than me. And this picture transports emotions to people who look at these pictures. And that's what I'm interested in, to transport emotions, to paint emotions and faces and things like this. That's a pencil study uh, during my studies at university, my design studies, to find out how to paint uh, faces. It's Lionel Richie, the famous singer, in different positions. and. Yeah, that's, these are typical, uh, typical pencil studies to find out how to draw. And in my younger years, I was also into the club scene. Uh, I like techno music and I visit a lot of clubs. So I painted also some club scenes, a DJ. And I painted also people at the clubs. That's a young lady, a young girl. And I like the, the glasses, the blue, the purple glasses and the red background which matches her top. And sometimes I painted these peoples. Another study of a fallen guy to find out how a fallen guy looks. Here. And that's very interesting. That's what I like to show you. That's another pencil study and maybe you know it. Check this, that's the study of this picture in the background. And in most of the cases, I did these pencil studies to find out how to place light and shadow before I started airbrushing and before I started to paint these pictures. And that's one of these pencil studies. <laughs> yeah, and also during my design uh, studies, I was into woman. Not so much than in my younger years, but I painted also women here. And 
These are all the pictures around 2004, 2005, 2006. That's a guy I lived with. Uh, uh, I lived with some people together, and that's one of these guys. And we made a picture in our kitchen, and the rest is imagination. I had some ideas, some ideas in mind, and I tried to bring them to paper. So um, it looks a bit fantasy. I had some fantasy ideas, or fantasy books, and something like that. And these are the pictures related to, to these ideas. Yeah, and that's what I painted during my studies as a designer. And I had also a friend who visited Africa and he was a photographer. He did photos of different situations in Africa and he gave me these photos and I made pictures of it like this, a young boy, a young African boy. And that's very cool. That's from an African meat market. And these are typical African pictures and here in Europe or in Germany you can't find these pictures. We have only boxed meat in boxes and I'm not really sure if I'm on such a meat market if I would buy the meat when I see such a head of a cow. But in Africa it's a normal situation. You have these little boys in the background and the head on the meat market and that impressed me very much so I had to paint it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have some other ladies at the meat market, a lady, and she sells the meat and she holds it in her hand. And it looks like that the, these two ladies have fun selling the meat and I'm not really sure if I would buy it, but it looks fun and these are typical African pictures. And that's another picture, a baby, more than a fetus, and this baby relates to the other picture I showed you before of the disabled child and yeah it was also for a, for an exhibition i made these pictures for an exhibition and sometimes they relate to each other and yeah that's connected to the other picture of the disabled baby and sometimes i included also some lyrics in my pictures that's a picture with some lyrics in the background and i try to paint also faces I'm still into faces and yeah, that's the connection, lifelong connection. And that's what I paint if I, if I paint myself. Yeah, and that's what I like to show you. And now you know also my other side. You know me from cycle painting. I started cycle painting in 2007, I think, professionally. I painted cycles before, 2099, something like this. But I started cycle painting 2007 and I have also another addiction. I'm an artist, but not as a pro. I don't sell art. I do it myself. Private art. I call it private art. And now you know also my second life, my artist life. But in future, I will do also some artwork as a custom painting artwork. I will do some skateboards, some helmet with more art related stuff. And I hope you will watch also these videos. So stay tuned. Check my channel. Check also my future videos. I will include more art. So I showed you what I can do and what I'm able to do. I hope you had fun. I hope you like my art. See you and goodbye. Don't forget to check my channel and also my other videos.